Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar Japanese yen FX for Tuesday, August the 18th. Well, an interesting day's trading today. Uh, if we look at the progression of the size of the um, bodies of the candles as the trend uh, continued on its way down here, this first time frame trend, we can see that the size of the bodies of the candles reduced and reduced and reduced. Again, today, another reduction in the size of the body of the candle. Interestingly, though, <coughs> excuse me, we've had a change of trend in the first time frame. And we now have a day with a higher high and a higher low, which means that the trend has changed. And we noted yesterday that because of those, the size of the bodies um, reducing, that there was a potential for that first time frame downtrend to reduce because the bears were making less and less net progress each day as the trend continued on its way down. Now, um, a worrying factor though, we highlighted yesterday that if the market did appreciate, we had this very strong area of uh, resistance from the Kumo or the cloud to trade through. And the market's tried to trade up, down, up through there today and there's been strong downside price rejection from there. And the market has failed to close within that area of resistance that's provided by the Kumo. Also, resistance was provided by the Kijun Sen. We can see that the market traded to the Kijun Sen and sold off as well. So if this uptrend does continue, the market will have to be very, very bullish to trade up through this area here. And there's potential for that to not happen. There is now uh, potential for the uh, first time frame downtrend that was previously in, in existence to return. If the low of the current candle is taken out and then the low of the um, previous candle with a lower high, if that is taken out, then we will have potentially a second time frame downtrend. Potentially there is a um, second time frame downtrend because of the uh, um, peak, a trough, a potential peak and a potential lower trough. Now that hasn't come to fruition yet, but there is strong potential for that to happen. So the high of the current candle becomes important, the low of the current candle and the low of the previous candle become important. Um, important for the, um, the uh, for a first time frame downtrend potential and then a second time frame downtrend potential. If that does develop, then we have uh, potential support down at the, coup, at the uh, previous um, swing low here at 93 and then a very strong area of support down around the 92 area where um, this yellow area was highlighted and very strong support coming in there. So um, important to keep an eye on the highs and lows of the current candles and some of the previous candles around for a potential uh, reversal of this first time frame downtrend and potential establish establishment of a second time frame downtrend. Mm -hmm.